Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Look at you, public servant by day, hottie by night. Well, I have to turn on the heat during the day or nobody get anything done. Ooh, council story's up. From now on, we're capping elementary school class size at 22 students. This is garbage, which is piling up in front of my restaurant because you cut pickups to once a week. Uh -huh. well, a reduction in trash service is what pays for the smaller class sizes. Crazy guys with trash bags coming at you and you stay the mature, rational adult. Yes, I did. Suck it, garbage guy. <laughs> oh, and then this dude. Hey, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that brings your garbage into a public arena and acts like a crazy person. <laughs> Act like a gentleman. Thank you. Now, where the hell's the money your brother-in-law stole from me? What my sister and my brother-in-law did was wrong. Okay, but that's not me. Let me ask the room. Does anybody here have a relative they're not exactly proud of? <laughs> Whew, not just me. At least he was cute. Yeah, I don't see it. But you held your own up there. You remind me of your father, the esteemed senator. Oh, my God. Did I smell like strippers? <laughs> no, you smelled like authority. Oh, well, that is my fragrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to say, in all humility, I was, yes, smoking. Up high. All right. Down low. Okay. <laughs> Plus, your brother-in-law's various felonies totally shifted the focus of the meeting. I think you put the whole trash issue to bed. Aunt Mel, why are angry white guys throwing trash at our front door? <laughs> there is a political debate in the community in which the majority feels as our... This is getting heavy and really smelly. I'm just gonna leave this here for you, Aunt Mel. There's like 10 more on the porch. Hey, Lennox, Lennox, um, did you see the uh, dresser I put in your room? Yeah, yeah, it's really cute, but I'm okay. I've got suitcases. She thinks living here is temporary? Well, she no longer tells me what she thinks. I used to be, I'll sneak out of the house, Aunt Mel. Let's get matching tattoos, Aunt Mel. Now I'm, because I said so, Aunt Mel. I do horrible things like put furniture in our room. Clearly I'm a monster. Of course she's difficult. Don't you remember what you were like at 15? Not very clearly. I did a lot of drinking then. I guess you're stuck with me. tonight, so Rhonda stay with you guys if you need anything. Coach says need a better jump shot. You got one of those? Yes, we Asian women are all about the hoops. <laughs> uh, so if you've got any homework, do it. And beyond that, just, uh, you know, be good and don't... Torch the place? Yes. <laughs> House. The week his dad ran off. He was angry. He just stacked 20 of his dad's suits on the driveway, added some top shelf cognac, and lit him up. <laughs> In a way. But we all need to let things out every now and then. No, we don't. The urge to set things on fire, we repress. <laughs> Thanks for babysitting. I haven't had a date since the kids moved in. It's been so long, I'm actually nervous. <laughs> all right. What do you think? These say smart, independent, bright political future. These say former bad girl, she's back. What, are you going hiking? Those. That's, That's yours. yours. Melbourne. Ronna Chang. Yes? yes, hello? Channel school principal. She did what? What did she do? When? Where? Really? Today? Who Lennox did that. that. Liz, I find that hard to believe. No, she didn't tell it's me. It's not at all typical. Of course I believe you. I know when something's Is serious. Is this really serious? I'm really I'll sorry Mel, that this but happened. I'm telling you, this couldn't have happened. Guess what? Today at school, Lennox handed out flyers containing an original poem, rhyming her principal's name in a creative way that didn't go over well with Ms. Lunt. <laughs> Not to send up a flare, but there's a possibility Channel 5 has a story. Are you sure? Pretty sure. I was just on the air, live, denying it. <laughs> Two months living with me and she gets suspended. Legal guardian of the year, thank you. I keep telling you, hire somebody, an organizer, a professional. Those kids need structure and discipline and possibly electroshock therapy. <laughs> and you, my dear, cannot do everything. Well, maybe not everything, but I can certainly do this. It's just a matter of going up there and setting that girl straight. I haven't moved yet, have I? <laughs> Why is 
isn't my sister here to discipline her own daughter? Because she's locked up in federal prison? Man, that's a sweet deal. <laughs> hey, Lennox, remember you and me at the Fall Out Boy concert? I just found this old picture. Oh, you mean the one that was hanging very obviously in the hallway outside the door? <laughs> Not obviously, affectionately. <laughs> that was some night, huh? Fall Out Boy. Woohoo! <laughs> Where are we going with this? I was just remembering the good times, you know? When we shared, told each other things, important things that happened today. <laughs> oh, come on, you didn't think I got suspended with something you might share? Okay, I will share this. Miss Lent is a fascist. Why couldn't you have called her that? Instead of, you know. Well, I never got in trouble at my old school. That's because your parents bought the indoor pool. They didn't even have a spa. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Whatever, look, Miss Lunt is expecting an apology. You and I have an appointment down in her office at three o'clock tomorrow. Great. You let me know how that goes. <laughs> Lennox, until you talk to her, you can't go back to school. Oh, well, guess I'm not going back to school. <laughs> of course you are. This is your education. Nothing is more important. Oh, that's my date. <laughs> oh, um, I have more to say. You just stay right there. I'll stay. <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> I was expecting my date. I'll be quick. I was a jackass down at City Hall. I, I never should have crashed your meeting asking where your brother-in-law was. That was wrong, and I just wanted to come here and say that I'm sorry. Bolivia! <laughs> Lewis is in Bolivia, isn't he? You just flinched. I flinched because you shouted Bolivia. Okay, people in Bolivia flinched. Look, I don't know where the hell he is. Now get lost and leave me alone. Hi, Griffin. Hey, don't you look nice and... Smell handsome. Who's this guy? Oh, no oh, guy. I'm a... <laughs> Look, Griffin, I know you've waited a long time for this date, and so have I. I mean, look. Right. <laughs> I have a niece in crisis, and I really want to go on this date, but, you know, I have to spend some time with her, and I so want to be spending time with you, but, man, you smell great. Look, I'm really excited by this date. I just can't go on it, so let me do this. That should hold you for a few weeks. Maybe more. We just don't know. <clears throat> wow. That's a whole bucket of crazy. <laughs>
we both know that's a low ball offer, all right? So, come on, what's, um, what's uh, your top number there? That is my top number. All right, you got a deal, but I can't start till Monday. Who offered you a job? All right, I can start today. I'm just gonna have to, you know, move a few things around. <laughs> Mostly my car. Tuesday's street cleaning, isn't it? You do know we're talking about a nanny here, right? There are children involved. You ever work with kids? Are you kidding? Right out of college, I ran a youth center downtown. I was in charge of 50 teenagers. Cooked them meals, helped them with their homework. I was Charles friggin' in charge. <laughs> Yeah, you're perfect. There's just one little detail. I don't really like you. You know about school bus? Not running today. Jackson Street blocked because some kind of uh, garbage protest. Crap, 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 crap! Oh, I mean, golly, tough break. <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I'll take you. I'll just miss my meeting. I mean, it's not like we need the police department. No, 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 no. You'll make your meeting. I'll take them. Hey. Hi. I'm Joe. See that uh, Porsche out there? Yeah, it's mine. For 10 more days. Sweet. Uh, I, I don't know if I should. Oh, screw it. Buckle up! <laughs> Isn't that the cute yelling guy from yesterday? Yeah. He's a homeless commodities trader. He's taking care of the kids. How high do I sound right now? <laughs> Rhonda, bottom line, she sounds great. The perfect nanny. You're right, I can't do this alone. What, commodities trader? No, he's just temporary. And he's not cute. No, he's not. He has no hair. <laughs> okay, before we pull the nanny trigger, when do I interview this lady? Hello. Ugh, hold on a sec. Hey, let me ask you something. When's the last time anybody did any laundry in this household? You people live like pigs. <laughs> These are my delicates. How did you get my delicates? Were you in my room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pull the trigger. Hey, Joe, you were right. I should have that sandwich now. Hey, Mel. All right, get back up there. What is he doing home in the middle of the day? It's history paper. What? Wow, all right, pack the veins back in your forehead. <laughs> Took the kid to school, right? And he tells me he doesn't have his history paper. So we drive back here to get it, and then he tells me he didn't exactly write it. And I said, well, you better exactly write it because it's due today. So he's up there writing it now. And he doesn't come out until it's done. Huh? Now that's, uh, that's nannying. <laughs> you brought him home? You don't bring a kid home who hasn't done his work. You leave him at school to get yelled at, which is what he's got coming. What kind of rules are those? The rules that everybody knows. Well, I'm somebody. I never heard of them. Lennox, you ready? It's time to go. She's not here. W where is she? You were supposed to watch her. You never said that. Because it's obvious. The girl got suspended. She's gone. She's ditched the meeting. You know what? You're right. I just said you were right. That was a compliment. Okay, she has like three places she usually goes after school. I'll just, I'll start there. You want me to help you? Yes, please do. Nothing. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I can work with this kid. Wow. This is where you come for your adolescent brooding? You come up here to turn me in? It's not really my style. What is your style? Outlaw. <laughs> Cast out by the power brokers. Forced to live a life in the shadows. Oh, kind of like Batman if he'd been demoted to a nanny. Nice. Uh, aren't you supposed to be at a meeting at your principal's office right now? Why should I? Crap goes on there all the time. Miss Lunt fires the music teacher, completely gets rid of the band, and everybody's afraid to talk about it. I'm tired of life being unfair. How about for once to just be fair? I'd be upset too if my mom and dad bailed on me. I'm talking about Miss Lunt. If you say so. You don't know anything about me. You're right. I don't. But what I really don't know about you is why you're taking this all out in your aunt. Because she's the only person who hasn't bailed on you. Look, I, I know she can get a little skitzy at times. <laughs> All times. But since we're talking about fair, do you really think it's fair that she has to go down to your school all alone and eat your big bowl of stink for something that she didn't do? Big bowl of stink? What is that? 
You'll know when you've eaten one. Any sign of our Lennox? Oh, Miss Lunt, look, I know what Lennox did was bad. Okay, really, really bad. But if any kid has the right to be upset about what life's handed her, look, I'm not trying to excuse Lennox, I'm just saying. If I was Lennox, probably would have done worse by now. In fact, I did. <laughs> this is pointless without Lennox. Why don't we just reschedule? You think you can manage to find her by, say, tomorrow afternoon? Oh, tomorrow city council sessions all day. Um, but we take lunch 12 to 1. I don't know when you Miss break. Miss Burke, parenting doesn't fit into nice little schedule boxes. You know, it might be helpful to look not just at what Lennox is doing, but at the job you're doing. She's doing okay. I'm sorry I'm late. And I'm sorry about the other day with the poem. And I'm sorry about the stuff that I said. I was mad. And apparently not really at you. But there's no need to blame my aunt. She's been getting enough of that for me. You know, at least she's trying. Okay, whatever. Let's just get to the stink eating part. The what eating part? All right, let's see what you got. Here's a thought, my uh, hip young brother man. Try loosening up your knees a little bit. You're welcome. Hey, I heard about all the crap you've been going through. You know, with your wife going broke, losing your car, your condo. I mean, how can you even walk? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. No, 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 it's all right. I'm aware that my life is an abyss of inky black despair. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. To do that? Only if you taped it. I have no idea. Oh, mom's home. I'm sorry. Uh, your your aunt. I I meant your aunt. Hey. So I ate my whole big bowl of stink. <laughs> I even went back for seconds. Ugh, I'm gonna go brush my teeth now. Hands. It was you. You talked her into going down there. How did you talk her into going down there? People like me. No, really. I paid her 50 bucks. A bribe? That's terrible. Not only is that wrong, that's horrible parenting. Well, I'm not a parent, and neither are you. Can I have 50 bucks? No. no. And relax, all right? I wrote Lennox a personal check. Boing. Another very valuable life lesson. So is this how you ran your youth center right out of college? Oh, please, there was no youth center. <laughs> Can I speak to you in the other room? Nice knowing you. Oh, I'll be fine. You lie, you bribe. Is there anything you won't do? Windows. <laughs> Look, uh, Burke, I I'm just trying to help you out here, you know? I mean, I, I, I may have played it fast and loose, but Lennox apologized to that blunt woman, right? Yes. Yes, she did. She also, as it happens, said a few nice things about me. In front of me. It's the first time since she's been here. Frankly, it took my breath away. Oh my God, you didn't pay her to do that too, did you? No, she gave you that one free of charge. Although it, you know, maybe my mere presence in this household is sort of seamlessly pulling everything together. Hmm. Yeah, let's believe that. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, a Regency nanny's called. They said that uh, Mrs. Dietrich is available and that she'll be here 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. You didn't think I could handle this, did you? To be honest, no. Not until you uh, pulled all that competence out of your ass. So, is this official now? Because, you know, if not, I can just... Um, hop in my house and drive away. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. How bad could you be? You'll find out, won't you?
So, how'd your date go that lasted till 3 freaking a.m.? Leave me alone, Mom. It's not a school night, and he was captain of the football team. God. <laughs> wow. I just realized I've never actually had that conversation with my own mom. I'd come in at 3 a.m., and she'd send me back out for gin. <laughs> so how'd the kids get to bed? Uh, Ryder knocked out about 11, and Lennox was, um, 1.30. 1.30? All right, she just got in bed now when she heard the car pull up. <laughs> but she's caught up on, uh, bio and math. And the fifth season of Lost. Garbage delivery council, babe. That does it. Hey! Buttface! Did you forget something? <laughs> hey! Holy nuts, that guy's huge. <laughs> Mel! Mel, this guy... I'm not kidding, this guy's huge, Mel! understand anything you wrote on this market list. Um, no fail? Non-fat yogurt. Oh, okay. What about the wa-wee pen? Ho-wee penne. How could I not see that one? Um, Max Flow Tamp? Think about it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> see if you can decode this. Not a friggin' chance. Uh, Joe, have you seen my good black jeans? I can't go to school in my pajamas. Washed and in your room. They're not in my room. Five bucks says that they are. Ten says they're not. Twenty. Fifty. All right, you're on. It's kind of funny. You're not a mom, but you have two kids. You're not in a relationship, and yet you live with the guy, and you haven't been on a real date in six weeks. Twelve. <laughs> no, I am totally fulfilled in my new life. But tell me, Rhonda, are there still men out there, and do they still take women on romantic dates to restaurants and try to take advantage of them? Mm, they do. God bless them. <laughs> oh, God, I missed that! <laughs> look at me, I'm rich! Double or nothing says that they're in the uh, dryer. Oh, hey, look, we never really talked about this, but um, Friday is payday, right? Uh-huh. Good. I might need a small advance. <laughs> Interesting fact, before this, he actually ran an entire company. Look, we lost a billion dollars, but we never lost our pants. <laughs> With me. Sounds like a date. It is not a date. Theo just wants to discuss arts funding for public schools with me at that really cool new dim sum place where all the couples hang out. Oh, he totally asked you out. <laughs> Can we not be teenagers about this? He totally did. <laughs> oh, and he's like so cute. Oh. So is he giving off any signs? Does he seem interested? Well, I detected several glances at selected portions of me. Are we talking boyfriend material? Uh, the councilwoman has him under review. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl talk. Just business. Yes, we were reviewing critical personnel issues. So then, girl talk. <laughs> well, I think this is great because, let's face it, these days you're not out there hitting the clubs. And nothing's hitting me. <laughs> so, what's your next move with Theo? Well, I don't want to be unprofessional. <sighs> I'm lying. I want to be so unprofessional. Like, slap me with a lawsuit, unprofessional. <laughs> he is really adorable. Ladies, please, at least wait till I'm out of the room. <laughs> I can't just be hitting on the guy when he's lobbying me. I mean, isn't that crossing the line? So make him cross it first. Let him give you a ride home after the next meeting. Then ask him if he wants to come inside. A little chit-chat, flash those baby blues. Do I have to spell this out? No, I have memories. And a videotape one of my old boyfriends made. Man, I look good in that tape. 
You should transfer it to digital so you don't lose it. <laughs> and then encrypt the crap out of it. <laughs> Gotta go. I have a date. Well, not technically. I'm interviewing new interns. <laughs> Hey, let me help you with that. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's perfectly balanced. Oh, please don't. Oh. See? <laughs> All right, it's cool. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, that is it. Mom moved in. Nice. Walls, floor, weight bench. All the comforts of solitary confinement. Where do you sleep? This baby. This thing inflates in like 30 seconds. Look at it go. You better get out of the way. You're good, Bert. Seriously, I thought you said you and Tiffany were going halfsies on all your stuff. Yeah, this is my half. Oh, so when you divided things equally, you got all the invisible stuff? Look, Tiffany is going to be on her own for the first time ever, OK? And, you know, she's never worked. I just wanted to make sure she was going to be OK. I'm trying to be a stand-up guy here. Oh, you're kind of more of a bent-over guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I just get the... You know what? It's none of my business. What? No. Say it. Well, I get the feeling that you believe that if you let her keep all this stuff, that she'll change her mind and take you back. Please. I got everything I wanted. Really? I bet you had a TV. A guy like you probably had a 60-inch, 1080p, HD, LCD, LED, Manavision. 52 inch, which is plenty. The fact of the matter is, you now have zero inches. That is by choice, okay? She's gonna be spending a lot of time at home, and she just thought, we thought it would be best if she took the TV. Like I said, zero inches. You're a nice guy, but you're getting killed here. I'll be back in an hour, because I'm really curious to see what that's gonna look like. <laughs> I don't believe it. That is hilarious. What? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, share. I bought everything you're wearing. Okay, so Aiden, he thinks he's like a super driver, and today after school, he backs his Beamer right into the headmaster's Mercedes. So then they end up having to call Aiden's dad and Zurich, and he goes... Wait, 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 wait a minute. There were a lot of big money words there. Since when are their headmasters at public schools? They're not. This happened at McAllister. McAllister? You mean McPreppy McSnooty Academy? The one you're glad to be out of? Well, everybody I know is still there. Well, what about making some new friends at Grant, where you go every day for eight hours, or so I'm told? I already have friends. Yes, but those friends will give you carpal tunnel. <laughs> Here's a crazy thought. What about making some friends that you can talk to even in a blackout? OMG! <laughs> I have nothing in common with these people. Because you haven't given them a chance. Get to know them. Then maybe you can get their numbers and text them. I knew you wouldn't get it. Burke, you are absolutely right. Tiffany's been pushing me around. I need to stand there for myself and be a man. I'm getting my inches back. All the time. We were talking about televisions. <laughs>
Anyway, I stated my position, she listened, and I am back with tangible results. Yeah, a beautiful big-ass TV. Watch your language around the television, okay? Hey, where are you going with that? Oh, it's all right. Let the kid take it for a spin. <laughs> And listen, I have to thank you. It's because of you that I got that TV back. You know it's not staying in the living room. But what's even more significant is what I did not come back here with. I'm serious, it's not. My awesome leather club chair. You see, I wanted that too, but Tiffany would not let that go. You know what this means? The TV's not staying? No, this means she's not ready to let go. You see, that, that chair is me. And Tiffany is... Still Tiffany. <laughs> but she's sitting on me. <laughs> okay, so you think that she might want you back because she's keeping a chair. Two plus two? Four every time. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Uh, look, I put a lot of thought into the design of the room here, and Frat House Rec Room was not part of the scheme. <laughs> Come on, Aunt Mel, it's high death. And I'm low tolerance. <laughs> Besides, it's Joe's TV. Oh, well, it's fine, it can live up here. Actually, downstairs would be so much better. You know, Ryder, downstairs would be so much better. No, you can't. This is the first time this house has officially not sucked. Wow, it's nice that you don't hold back. <laughs> Ryder, look, I know you like it, but if my interior decorator ever saw this... Oh, my God, baby penguins! <laughs> Sit. No. Oh, they're so cute and crisp. I want a penguin! <laughs> I couldn't tell how I was doing there. I mean, some of the old guys on the city council are pretty tough. Gunderson was just staring at me with this blank, creepy expression the whole time. Oh, don't mind him. He died three years ago. <laughs> then I won't take it personally. Do you think we have the votes? Well, just because it's you, I called in a few favors. What kind of favors? Votey favors. Just for you. Wow. Looks like we're moving in the right direction. That is the goal. Would you like to, um, come in and... come in? <laughs> what is this? This is an amazing comeback, is what this is. The Bengals were down by 14 points two minutes ago. Come now, they're even. Can you believe this? No, I can't believe this. Why don't we take this into the kitchen? Who's got the ball? Chargers. Chargers. Wow, what a beautiful picture. <laughs> They're going for it on fourth down? It's been that kind of game, man. Look, Theo, I... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, did you see that interception? <laughs> yes, I did. So, before I brief you, brief me. How did it go with Theo Morton, the Orlando Bloom of Ohio Arts Funding? How did we segue from lobbyist to potential down-the-line boyfriend? I had him. I was this close. Then I lost him by two touchdowns. What are you talking about? Joe made him watch football. My nanny stole my date. Ugh, man, when I saw you and Theo leaving together, I thought, this is it, the drought is over. So did I. But then it all turned to crap. And high def. <sighs> That's it, okay? I gotta explain some rules to Joe. What can and cannot happen under my roof. Yeah, let him have it hard so you're not snapping at me all day. I never do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you just wait in the car for me? <laughs> Joe. Burke. Uh, we need to go over a few things. Look, if it's about the soy milk, I'm sorry, all right? I threw it out because I thought it went bad. I had no idea that god awful odor was the correct smell. No, 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 this is more global. Aunt Mel, I need to talk to you. Yeah, in a minute, Lennox. No, it'll be really fast, I promise. Okay, so I was thinking about what you said about me not making friends at my new school and not moving on with my life, so I've made a decision. I want to go back to my old school. Ah, the one that's two hours and $40,000 away? Yeah, but they give you lunch. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this tonight. Yes, we will. She has no idea how to uh, read you. <laughs> and that would be my segue back to you. Uh, here's the thing. When I bring a guy home, like, for instance, last night, it would be unbelievably preferable if there was no sports bar right here. So Theo was from work? Yes. But you were trying to... Yes. And then you saw the TV. Yes, you... yes, and then no, so therefore no. <laughs> wow, how come I'm missing a signal? <laughs> this to you is an apology? It's not my missed signal. I'm not the one that messed up your night, Burke. Trust me, that night was going nowhere. <laughs> we were headed somewhere. Really? I mean, come on. The guy started watching the game. So? He's a guy. Exactly. When a guy is into you, he's sticking with his man parts, okay? And man parts... <laughs> 
They don't care about high def. Ah, relationship analysis from a guy who thinks a woman still loves him because she's keeping his chair. Hey, that chair is significant. Move on! Sit somewhere else! Don't get mad at me, all right? I'm not the one that messed up your little schoolgirl crush. Oh, it was not a schoolgirl crush. Oh, a text from Theo. Oh. You are so gonna eat your words. Check this out. Dinner tonight. That's it? Two words? Yeah, but they mean a great deal. They mean that he's hungry. Yeah, hungry for love. Of food. You are so wrong. And by so wrong, you mean I'm so right. I'll show you. Really? What are you gonna show me? That this means so much more than your ridiculous old club chair. Will you leave my chair out of this, please? We really need to get into work now. Gladly. Dinner. Just a dinner. Just a chair. Was somebody tonight. Burke, eloquent as council approves art spill. They're like 12 stories up already, and I'm not even counting the naked blogger guy. Hey, Dennis has a following. Mm. You are very popular with naked people at their computers. <laughs> so, where's Theo taking you tonight? My new favorite spot, not here. Ryder, need ya. So, uh, Theo looked pretty happy about the votes, don't you think? He's gonna look happier tonight. Look at you. Yeah, well, I am wearing my celebratory public arts funding bra. Mm. I wish the arts got that much support. <laughs> so what's up? Oh, Ryder, um, listen, there are one too many TVs in this room. Can you find it? <laughs> Take it on down to Joe's man cave. I reserve the right to bring it back up here for playoff games. This is not a negotiation. Sure it is. Joe's influence on you is not appreciated. He said you'd say that. Yeah, I know, but if Mr. Zenton lets us do a video, then we won't have to write the paper. Let's get Bailey in our group. She loves to work. Hi, Lennox and, uh... Victoria. Hi. You're, like, famous or something, right? Yes! She is City Councilwoman Mel Burke, who represents the 7th District, including... Ronda easy. Not a voter. <laughs> it's like cigarettes. You have to establish brand loyalty when they're young. <laughs> we'll be upstairs. Oh, hey. She's from Grant? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really funny story. Oh, well, your aunt loves funny stories. Okay, okay, so I was in the bathroom, and I heard this girl throwing up. Funny already? And I was like, I know that sound, because that's like the national anthem back at McAllister. So I was about to give the speech I used to always give there. You're pretty the way you are. There's no perfect body type. You don't have to look like a model in a magazine. And then she turns around and starts shouting at me, I'm not bulimic. I just ate the cafeteria chili. Go to hell. <laughs> She's great. So you made a new friend? I did this because I wanted to, not because you told me to. She did it because I told her to. I assume you're not gonna be here for dinner? She might miss breakfast. I have no comment at this time. Excuse me, Joseph. Uh-oh. No, you're fine. I just... I wanted to say I'm sorry about what I said before about you and Tiffany and things. You know, I know it's been a tough transition and there's some things you miss, so I thought this might help you move on. A laptop? Thank you. You know, the feds took mine for evidence. No, 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 no. I've been looking for leather club chairs to replace yours. Look, there's like a dozen of them. Sell them right here in town. That's very thoughtful of you, Burke. See? Look, leather, perfect condition. Look at this one. It's got a lot of character. That's my chair. See? Just like that, we find you one you like. No, no, no. That, 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 that is my chair. That is, that, that's my actual chair. That's my damn chair. She's selling it? You don't know that that's yours. There's like a million of these. Yes, I do. Look at this. Zoom, zoom. Okay, you see? That is Tiffany right there. I recognize those. You know why? I paid for those too. <laughs> this was never about me. This is all about money. I'm sorry, Joe. I had no idea. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You should have seen this thing coming. You were absolutely right. Well, sometimes when you have feelings, it's hard to see what's really going on. It'll be okay. Where's the TV? It's downstairs. Whatever. 
it's cool with you, I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit, all right? Ooh, here's the thing. Uh, Theo's coming over, and given that he's coming over, um, perhaps a better place for you to chill might be downstairs. It's the best chair I'm ever gonna have. <laughs> and I've sat in some chairs, Burke. Uh, you know, when, uh, when things are swirling around me and I really need to clear my head, uh, there's nothing better than going to my own room. Uh, room, sweet room. Wow. I can't believe it. It's, it's finally over. Ooh, another text from Theo. Can't make dinner tonight. My boyfriend and I are taking our cat to the hospital. Alphaba is coughing up blood. Thanks for the votes. <laughs> boyfriend? What the hell does that mean? Teddy's gay. Gay? Yeah, you know, he likes guys. And cats. Probably the musical Cats. But he liked football and he flirted. Oh, he intentionally jammed my gaydar. Don't worry about it, all right? I dated a lesbian once. She was actually a nice girl. <laughs> Look, you're just not the best at judging signals, so what? He was using me and it was all completely political. And now he's done pretending and he's back with his boyfriend and their dying cat. Oh, I hope they're happy. <laughs> You're just itching to say I told you so, aren't you? Hey, I just got dumped for a chair. This was all about his public arts funding scheme. Oh, well, that's it. From now on, I'm only supporting technical schools, okay? The arts can bite me. <laughs> hey, Ryder, Ryder, hey, get back downstairs and get that TV back up here. I want 52 inches of plasma in front of my face pronto. <sighs> but I just <laughs> took it. <laughs> look, 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 look. When they finally agree with you on something, you just shut your mouth and you go with it. I'm gonna learn a lot from you, aren't I? Damn straight, boy. <laughs>
Awful deal. <laughs> Seriously, awful deal. But it says if I buy one, I get the second one free. Oh, sure, it's not a bad deal if you want to fill up your pool with salsa. <laughs> but see, all they do is they just double the price of the first jar, and then they toss the second one in for free. <laughs> in the real world, all you need is this little jar they put way up here, which is, um, well, look at that. Much cheaper. Wow. You're like a shopping superhero. I am. I am super market man. <laughs> I'm Ashley. Joe Longo. It's my secret identity. Mm. So, when you're not saving helpless shoppers, do you ever have coffee? You know, lately I've been trying to cut back because coffee actually dehydrates me, so I... Oh! <laughs> you mean... You mean have coffee? Wow. Um... To be honest with you, I just separated from my wife, and I'm not sure if I'm at the have coffee stage yet. <laughs> I have a slight bitter aftertaste from the last cup. I get it. Yeah. Listen, I'm a web designer, so my days are pretty flexible, and just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm actually free right now until I have to go pick up the kids. A devoted single father. I like that. No, no, I'm not a father. I'm, um, actually, I'm a nanny. <laughs> and a sense of humor. I like that, too. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a nanny. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, great. Work emergency. One of my websites just caught on fire. Yeah, today's no good for me, either. My hair appointments today with your stylist. Do I tell him to make me look like Taylor Swift from March or Taylor Swift from April? They could do that to your face. <laughs> you see this writer? It's a hot girl. And this is as close as you'll ever get to one. I'm good with that. Morning. 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 Oh, this is not a tasty waffle. Yeah, I'm not really in a tasty waffle mood. I am. What the hell happened to breakfast? I mean, uh, what happened to you? All right, I was at the market, ran into this really cute girl. We started talking, totally hit it off, right? Until I told her that I was a nanny. And she ran out of there so quick, she left a hot girl-shaped hole in the side of the store. Joe, that really sucks. But the important thing is, you remembered to get the pudding, right? Look, that was just one shallow woman, OK? There are bound to be lots of women who'll be attracted to you. Not me, God, no, but somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Burke. I'm all better now. But there are billions of women out there, okay? The math is totally on your side. Oh, great. So math is my wingman. All I'm saying No, look, is... I'm fine. I'm going to do something later this afternoon that's going to cheer me up anyway. So. Oh, really? What? My uh, divorce hearing. Well, excuse me. I'm going to go pick out a tie to go with losing my shirt. Ow. You really think a woman's going to want anything to do with a nanny? No. But I want my Belgian waffles back, and I'm not going to get some until he gets some. Thing, something. I. <laughs> that was so close to being awkward. The zoning hearing was pushed to tomorrow, and last and most importantly on the agenda this morning, muffins. Oh, I don't think I can. I had waffles yesterday. You had carbs without me? <laughs> Joe made syrup with bourbon, pecans, and cinnamon. It was like Christmas in my mouth. <laughs> Mel Burke? Liz Castaldo? <laughs> I thought I would find you in this building. Oh, my gosh. Rhonda, this is Liz. She was my sorority little sister. You were in a sorority? Ra, ra, by gamma, gamma, gamma. I'm so glad that is what I am. -a. Loyalty, honesty. Don't forget the glamour. We party so hard. Sometimes we end up in the slammer. Never open a book. But we still pass our exam. -a. Try gamma. Yo, yo, try gamma. Yo, yo, suck it. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, it was mainly a um, community service organization. Oh, holy cow. It's nothing, just some transit strike riot thingy. I'll get the lowdown. You sisters keep rapping. I. So, um, what are you doing here? I have a job interview at the mayor's office. God, back in college, did you ever think either of us would be walking the halls of power? Maybe in handcuffs. <laughs> hey, well, not interrupting anything. I was a little early for my hearing next door, so I thought I'd stop by and say hi. Oh, you sure you're not just here to use our incredibly clean bathrooms? What? No. 
Key's not on Rhonda's desk. What's up with that? Oh, Liz, this is Joe Longo. Joe, this is my old friend Liz Castaldo. Pleasure. Same here. Uh, Liz is here to interview with the mayor. Yeah, I am in that sexy world of municipal accounting. What do you do? Me? Uh, well, actually, I used to be a uh, commodities trader, but, mm -hmm. um... Well, actually, now, to be honest with you, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm working... Freelance! A freelance, uh, financial consultant! That's it! Yeah, and he dresses this well all the time. Can you just hang on one second, no, please? No, 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 you actually, don't have a second! You've gotta get you... back to work! What are you go. doing? Go! Go! What are you doing? Go! Go! Go make money, you and your fancy suit! <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Bye. He seems really nice. You and he aren't. Oh, God, no, no, ew! <laughs> I mean, no, no. Oh, any chance you can maybe hook a little sister up? Absolutely. Faster than you can say Belgian waffles. <laughs>
Pshaw. Uh uh. Oh, come on, girl. Your audit is gonna be a breeze. It's gonna take like two minutes. I can always trust a gamma. Yeah, that's what I am. Uh. <laughs> However, your fellow city council members, I'm gonna put their nuts in a vice and squeeze. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> You're screwed, aren't you? Yeah, worse than Pledge Week. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to tell you to have fun on your date tonight. I will. I actually got a great evening planned. I used your name to get us a reservation at Che Papillon. Yeah, sounds magical. Listen, um, <laughs> it may not be a horrible idea to keep the push-up bra on just a little bit longer. Why? Well, Liz may not be ready to hear about you being a nanny. Well, if she's not ready, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Yeah, but I'm not ready to watch your relationship die. Wow. If that's how well you lie, how did you get elected? Okay. The truth is, and it's kind of funny, actually, um, Liz was hired to audit all the city council members. Oh, I see. So if she finds out you lied to her about me... Yeah, she'll put my nuts in a vice. Are you sure you weren't in a fraternity? Plenty of those, too. <laughs> no, please, please, okay, three more days, okay? That's when the audit's over. You're my only hope. Look, I need to keep my honest reputation intact. So therefore, I have to lie. Yes, please lie for me. Lie your heart out, okay? Cook up a deception casserole full of lies and falsehoods topped with a thick glaze of BS. <laughs> Again, your aunt was speaking figuratively. That's cool. I'm gonna go out and find myself a role model. So, how'd it go? Awful. We had a really romantic dinner, got back to the car, started to make out a little bit, and then she wanted me to take her back to her place. So, a beautiful woman wanted to sleep with you? Boo freaking who? I couldn't do it under false pretenses. Oh, wow, that's, like, honorable. Seriously, I, I really appreciate the uh, sacrifice you made. I don't think you do. I wish there was something I could do to help, but that's really not my area. You know what? I can't take this. I am going with the truth. I'm calling Liz right now. No, 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 Yes, no. I am. Wait, wait, wait. Just uh, three more days is all I'm asking you to hold out. Two and a half, really, if you don't count half a day. Why would I not count half a day? Because it makes it sound shorter. I can't live like this, Mel. I can barely walk like this. Fine. Fine. I'll just deal with the public embarrassment and the... Damage to my image, you know, the image I've worked on so hard to prove I'm not just an irresponsible, flaky party girl anymore. Fine. Three more days, no more. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you can totally do this, okay? We just have to find a way to keep your mind off sex. Um, ooh, call your mom. Yeah, try it. That's not gonna work. It'll work! There is no mood killer like a mother. Hey, Mom. What's up? Did I wake you? Oh, you're still dealing with the foot, huh? No way. You're draining the boil right now? Tell me about it, Mom. Please tell me about it. <laughs> What's going on? What's so suspicious about a son calling his mother six, eight, ten times a day? I, I just want to hear about your colonoscopy. <laughs> Again, just one more time, Mom, please. <laughs> Mom? Hello, Mom? Yeah. Liz! You're here. <laughs> you, you didn't hear me honking? I was right behind you. Can I come in? Uh, of course. Yeah, come on in. No, I've been, I've, I've been dying to show you my place anyway, you know, where I, in fact, live now. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. How long have you been here? About uh, 10 seconds longer than you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> No, seriously, I love these throw pillows and those sconces. Well, I'm all about uh, sconces, Liz. Wow, these window treatments. Wait a minute. Something's going on here, because no man would pick out those window treatments by himself. You hired a decorator, didn't you? Guilty. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> mm. You are 
so full of surprises. Oh, well. <laughs> I really like learning all these new things about you. Me too. <laughs> you want to do well? I don't, okay. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, I'm Ryder. He's Ryder. Who's Ryder? I'm J Joe's nephew. He's my nephew. Uh, Joe took me in because my dad's on the run from the law. You never told me you took somebody else's child into your home. I was hoping I would never have to say that. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh, boy. Uh, this is Lennox, my sister. Joe took her in, too. It's not like you could break up the set, right? <laughs> she was real sick, which explains her funny hat. Right? He took you in, too. Yeah. Joe gave me a kidney. <laughs> now I can pee again. <laughs> Joe, that is so unbelievable. I could not agree with you more. Hey, how's everybody? Holy crap. Uh, Mel, hey, um, Liz followed me home, you know, back, back to uh, my house. Oh, oh, where you now live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why does Mel have a key to your house? Oh, you know, lots of people trade keys with their friends. Yeah, she I feeds my dog. I she waters the dogs. plants. <laughs> Why is there a picture of Mel on your coffee table? Because she's my city council person and she fights for me. And the reason that Mel's name is all over your mail? Oh, oh, that's easy. Um, I used to own the house and now Joe bought it for me. Is that what happened, Joe? What? You know what, guys? I'm not an idiot. I know exactly what is going on here. You two are one of those creepy couples that splits up and keeps living together. Yes! Busted! No, no, we're not. Look, I am telling her the truth. All right, okay, okay. okay. I... Look, all right, the truth is, our mortgage is upside down and we can't afford to move out. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> That's not the truth. Look, look, I should have told you from day one I wanted to, okay? I like you a lot. Here it is. I am the nanny, okay? I take care of the kids, I cook the meals, I live in her house. There it is. Oh my God. The nanny? Yeah. You really expect me to believe a lame lie like that? <laughs> Creepy. Wait a minute, Liz, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Liz, look, I was part of a huge global financial scam. This is it's the only job I could get, Liz. I just, ah, I'd go to. <laughs> No one in this house will ever see waffles again. Figuratively? Permanently. <laughs> well, I thought I was very believable. Don't you love audits? Ugh. I hate looking at receipts. It's like fun I had in the past that I have to explain. Ugh. Hey, if you offered your friend Liz a bribe, do you think we could write it off? Sure, why not? And I could write off any chance for re-election. Oh, look, it's a receipt party. Should I get a keg? Hey, Joe, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that things didn't work out with Liz, and I promise, no more help with your dating life. But it went so well. Look, I know that being my nanny isn't exactly your fantasy career, but I really, really love my job. And your point is that at least one of us gets to live the dream? No, my point is that if I didn't have you to count on, I couldn't go to work every day and do what I love. So, so thank you. Really. You're welcome. You guys must be starving. You want some food? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. All right. Sure. Ooh, he's amazing. You're in for such a treat. All right, we got a choice. Pizza taxi or chicken hombre. <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, so look, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, I am a nanny, and I'm proud of it. May not be the sexiest job in the world, but it's my job, it's important, and I do it well. I think that's great. And if a woman cannot respect... What? <laughs> Wait a minute, then how come you made up that crazy excuse last week about a website on fire and ran out of here? No, the server really was on fire. My assistant overloaded an outlet and fried my wiring. So, yes, I'd love to have coffee with you. 
In fact, I'm free right now. So you don't think there's anything unmanly about what I do? Of course not. Well, a little bit, but I'm cool with it. Well, then coffee it is. At my place. I uh, grind my own beans. Wow, you work fast. Yeah, no, actually, I have a load in the dryer. <laughs> we can chat, you're gonna have to watch me iron. Ooh, sounds hot. Well, you know, I'm also Iron Man. <laughs> and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. How bleepin' difficult is it for you people to find a bleepin' pair of shoes in this bleepin' house? <laughs> Are any of these done? No, Rhonda, blue. Okay, try again. Is everything okay? I'm sensing there may be a uh, bleeping problem in here. Ugh, we're DEF CON too. What have you done with my blue pumps? Me? What would I have done with your shoes? Well, I don't know. You're the one who likes to go around the house picking things up and putting them away. Yes, I intentionally like hiding your footwear so that you have the pleasure of searching for it so that every day feels like Easter Sunday. What are you getting all dressed up for anyway if you're just going to a city council meeting? Oh, because, uh, you know, people like to see their elected officials taking government matters seriously, and nothing says serious like high heels and a plunging neckline. Whatever you say. Go, look, fine. Hey, you know what? A please wouldn't hurt. Please. Ouch. Thanks. Couldn't do it without you. Oh, he's so sensitive sometimes. We are going to be late to the transportation hearing. Oh, we're ditching it. Yeah, just this once. Well, I thought you and I could check out that new bar we keep saying we're gonna hit and never do. Ooh, I was there last night. It was crazy hot. But so lonely without you. <sighs> Look, I spend all day at my job that I love. Then I come home to these freaking kids that I love. But I just need a little me time, you know? A little self-love. I don't mean it that way. <laughs> okay, let's find your shoes and hit the bar. First round's on me. <laughs> oh, hey, um, nobody can know, okay? I just... Don't want judgy looks from the kids and Joe. I think I found him. Uh, because uh, that's why this transportation hearing is so vital. <laughs> hey, Joe. Sorry. Oh. I usually put these back after I wear them. <laughs> wow, I don't know how you find anything in here. It's like being inside a woman's mind. If this were my mind, it would be Paris, and you would be an unlimited credit card. <laughs> You know, uh, I do have a system here. You know, you really should get one of those closet companies to come in here and reorganize everything. What? That's a huge waste of money. I could do that. That could work. I don't know. You know, I've never let a man mess around in my closet. A woman's closet is her most sacred, intimate, personal space. You know, we had this pizza a week ago. <laughs> Fine. Have at it. Work your magic. Great. I will get started right away. Oh, and before I do, um, if there's any specific personal items, you may want to relocate them prior to. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> I guess you're stuck with me. Oh, how about Flesh Eaters 2, more flesh eating? I don't know, man. I never saw Flesh Eaters 1. I hate not knowing what's going on. Well, there are flesh eaters, and they eat flesh. I'm all caught up then. Well, have a good night. Don't wait up. These transportation hearings can take forever, but that's my job, so whoo! <laughs> oh, hey, is it okay if I meet Justin at the mall tomorrow? Sure, have fun. All right, good night. Yo, Mel, uh, don't we want to know who this uh, Justin guy is? Yes, yes, we do. Just some guy. Just some dropped out of school guy. What? He did not drop out. He flunked senior year and decided to spend more time with his car. Who needs an education? It just leads to a future. <laughs> it's lame. Okay, not everybody in the world needs a high school diploma. Justin already has a job. Yeah, delivering pizza. Oh, did he deliver your face? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Mall. Just the mall. I gotta go. Hey! <clears throat> just real fast. Um, drop out pizza delivery boy. How do we feel about that? It's just a little crush. It's not like she's hooking up with Charles Manson or Sheen. No, you're right, because both those guys actually finished high school. Um, 
I'm just saying the bad boys are usually called bad boys for, you know, a reason. Joe, it's a mall. They can't have sex there. Not even a Brookstone. Okay? <laughs> now please let me get out of here because I have citizens waiting to yell at me. <laughs> Thanks again for the stock tip. That was just so tedious. <laughs> oh, what a bust. I wonder if I can catch the end of that transportation hearing. There's still a lot of men with hair here. Check those guys out. Please, Lawyer Palooza. There's nothing sexy about boring suits with a Blackberry. Oh, but on you, it's adorable. You've probably heard this all night, but those are some absolutely brilliant shoes. And they match your eyes. Really? Really. First thing I noticed when I walked in here. Well, that and your smile. Really? <laughs> now, let me guess, I'm very good at this. You're obviously a Pilates instructor, and you're a princess of some kind. How'd I do? You're doing great. What are you ladies drinking? Surprise me. Vodka rocks. Yes, it does. Back in a jiff. Yum. Show some dignity. I'll wrestle you for him. Rhonda, you're my friend. You're my right-hand woman. We're not going to fight over a guy. You're fired. That's going to be $12. Oh, you're the bartender. Tending bar. Well, I only do this on the nights when I'm not playing guitar. Okay, let's wrestle. Mud, oil, or jello? <laughs> English muffins all yours. I like them tall, dark, and neck deep in law school debt. Hey, nice blackberry. So what's your story, princess? Can't imagine you're a lawyer. No, I, uh, work for the city. Hope you're not a cop, because, uh, I can't have a speeding problem. Oh, well, uh, I'll let you know if you're going too fast. <laughs> wow, look at that scar. You must have really screwed up some guy's drink order. <laughs> no, I learned the hard way. If you're gonna parasail, don't do it in shark-infested water. I just spent half an hour hitting on a guy before I realized I already dated and dumped him a year ago. It's really hard to tell him apart in those suits. You really have to start a tag and release program. That's it. Time to head home. Oh, wait. You're my ride. Can you just hang out a few more minutes? But if we leave now, I still have time to watch a rerun of Sex in the City while crying bitterly to my cat. <laughs> but he's a guitar player who swims with sharks. Uh, I can give you a lift. If you don't mind riding on the back of a Harley. Why are you still here? <laughs>
you know, without being judged by my nanny person waiter upper guy. <laughs> I'm not judging you. You know, he's just not what I pictured, uh, you know, his Melberg boyfriend material. That's all. Oh, you spend a lot of time picturing that, do you? Uh, no, no. It's just that when I do, uh, I imagine somebody that's, um, you know, uh, specifically just a little more, just not him. <laughs> Well, he's not your business, Joe. Okay, I don't need you all up in my personal life. All right, fine. Oh, yeah, I got those dividers for your bra drawer we talked about. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Aunt Mel, did you ever read Moby Dick? Oh, of course I did. Well, I mean, I read the Cliff Notes. Well, I saw the movie, part of the movie. Hey, I saw Jaws. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You better just be taking those outside for some fresh air. Taking these babies to Goodwill on my way to school. Oh. This is the skirt that got me backstage at the NSYNC concert, and I... Never mind. Oh, I want to keep this. And this. And this! Wait a minute, you're never going to wear any of those. But I still want them. They're like museum pieces. What museum? The, uh, Slutsonian? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that Moby Dick is one crazy whale. Wow. Awesome skirt. See? It's so ancient, it's retro. Well, look at that, Burke. It's been so long since you've been cool, it's finally coming back around and you're cool again. I get it, I get it. Can I borrow this Saturday night? A bunch of us are gonna hang out at Justin's. Sure. Oh, wait, uh, wait. Uh, Justin's house, there's gonna be supervision there, right? There's going to be adults there. Uh, the fine adults? You know, the people who can buy beer. <laughs> Okay, at the risk of sounding parental, where are his parents? Justin doesn't need parents. He's mature enough to have his own place. Well, then he's too mature for you. But I really like him. Of course you like him. He's a... Bad boy. Yeah, he's a bad boy. He's cool. He's dangerous. Well, let me tell you, he won't look so cool in between contractions in the maternity ward. Yeah, because that's just what'll happen from one little party straight to the delivery room. Hey, maybe on the way there, I can rob a bank to support my meth habit. <laughs> Suddenly, my C in Spanish doesn't look so bad. <laughs> Zapatos. I can't believe you get a C. Hey, I, uh, I handled that Lennox thing pretty well, don't you think? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, what do you mean, sure? There's a butt coming, isn't there? I can see a butt in your face. You really want to uh, know? Yeah, I do. I don't think you do, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Let's just forget the fact that you just came down on your knees for dating a bad boy, which is exactly the same thing you're doing. That's irrelevant. Besides that, I just think that, uh, you know, you deserve a lot better. That's all. That was out of line. I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. I got nothing left to say. I just forgot my keys. <laughs> Wow. I thought the restaurant was good. Oh, Eli's is awesome. My manager recommended it. Oh, you already have a manager. Excellent. Yeah, well, right now he's my barista. But as soon as I hit, I'm totally making him my manager. Hey, it's you. That's my album cover. What's the name of the album? Maybe I've heard it. Oh, it isn't finished yet, but it all starts with the poster. <laughs> and this is going to be my first single. You with your eyes so bright, bright, bright. Laughing smile lights up the night, night, night. And you, you, you make me feel so... Feel so what? Oh, that's all I got. <laughs> it's kind of hard to finish, because... Because what? Well, I have a hard time... Finishing stuff? Yeah. Um, you know, I think we were in a better place with the kissing thing. Absolutely. Let's get right on that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, my complex filing system. Hey, uh, these are parking tickets and bills, and they're not opened. What can I say? Bills are so depressing. <laughs> Mel? 
The only thing I want to pay right now is attention to you. Okay, that was cute. <laughs> you know, um, if you have three unpaid parking violations, the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles will put a block on your registration. Ah, oh, that's all right. I register my bike in my cousin's name. That way I never have to do jury duty. Oh, Dylan, okay, if you're an American citizen... Which I am. Yeah, three years now. Yankee Doodle and all that. Well, then serving on a jury is one of your most important responsibilities. Mmm, jury duty. I don't think I could sit still for that long. Okay, look, Dylan, I like you. You're, you're very sweet, and you obviously work out a lot. But, um, I have to be honest, I just don't see this relationship going anywhere. <sighs> well, you finally finished one thing. <laughs>so here's what I got so far. We got snag-proof sweater storage here, off-season clothing here. Oh, and I even roughed out a little section exclusively for your Uggs. And I don't know how one person with only two feet can have so many Uggs, but regardless, it's an Ugg-specific zone. Well, my Uggs and I thank you. Well, you know, a closet says a lot about a person. It's kind of a reflection of one's life, you know, like, you know, who you choose as a boyfriend. Well, maybe you could rough out a little space for my personal boundaries. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm just gonna take down your drawers. And to paint them out on the driveway. Uh, listen, about the other thing, um, you know, you were kinda right. I'm sorry, what was that? About Dylan. You were right. I was sucked in by all the bad boy accoutrements, you know, the body, the bike, the accent, the body. <laughs> but, you know, there was nothing there, so I said goodbye. You came home at 4 a.m. Yeah, it was a long goodbye. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago, Dylan would have been perfect for me, but by the time you reach 30, you need a better reason to date a guy than, did you hear him talk? He sounds just like David Beckham. <laughs> oh, angry door slamming. Lennox is up. Hey, Lennox. Hey, Lennox. Oh God, we aren't gonna talk, are we? <laughs> Look, I don't like coming down on you so hard, but I just wanted you to know, I understand why it's so easy to fall for a bad boy like Justin, because as it turns out, wouldn't you know, I've been doing the very same thing. And here's mine. Wow. He's hot. Uh, does he have a face? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, not that one. Oh, no. Oh, there, there, that's Dylan. Man, he's smoking. Yeah, but there was nothing beyond that. So I ended it. You know, it's not easy to say goodbye to something that's fun and dangerous, but ultimately, those relationships are just dead ends. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Bad boy's bad. Virginity, good. <laughs> that's it. Now just repeat that until you're 30. <laughs>
and I think it's time for everyone to just go to bed alone and um, think very hard about the events that have transpired here today and then forget about them entirely. Hey, Mel, call me if you ever want to say goodbye again. Unbelievable. You tell me the bad boys are off limits, yet you're hiding one in your bedroom? It's going so great. Just bring it home. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the thing. There's a double standard. I can do things at 32 that you shouldn't do at 15. I know, because I did them. You saw my clothes. <laughs> That's not fair. How come I can't do those things? Because I don't want you to get hurt. The only reason I did those things when I was your age is because there was no one around who cared enough to tell me no. Oh, you're ruining my life. And I'm keeping your skirt. She's very unhappy with you. Well, that's the job, right? If you're doing it right. Thank you. You're welcome. But, um... Oh, there's always a but with you. No, it's just that, um... You said you were through with the bad boys. I am. I mean, I totally get it up here. It's just taking a while to work its way down. Night. Thanks. Hey, uh, Joe? Yes? Thanks for telling me no. Anytime. Joe, it's amazing. I mean, thank you. I could never have done this by myself. Obviously. Oh, and check out this. You ready? Yeah, baby. My bags! Yep. And they are in rainbow order. Oh, that is so obsessively, compulsively wonderful. Oh, and one last thing. There you go. What is this? My old clothes, my favorites. You didn't throw them out. Well, that would have been like saying there's none of that wild party girl left, so I managed to fit all your adult responsible clothing in here and still keep some of those trashy things that you should never, ever wear again in public. I could wear this again. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh, this was what I wore to my prom. Oh, still smells like whiskey sour, CK1, and a barn floor. <laughs> Well, our prom theme was Night at the Rodeo. All right, we're not gonna throw this out. We're gonna bury this. 